In this short video, I will discuss Bernard Werner's contribution to attribution theory. The study of attribution and the concept of attribution theory was developed by Fritz Heider. How we interpret our own behavior as well as that of others formed the basis for Heider's work during a career that lasted more than 60 years. Later, Bernard Werner developed a more comprehensive and extensive model of human attributions. Werner's model focused on achievement. His work focused on researching student learning in school settings. The principles of Werner's attribution theory is threefold, where attribution is a three-step process, where behavior is observed, determined to be deliberate, and attributed to internal or external causes. Achievement is attributed to effort, ability, level of task difficulty, or luck. Causal dimensions of behavior are locus of control, stability, and controllability. Werner's attribution model outlined the methods through which learners form causal beliefs. His model of attributions make the assumption that learners are affected by their external environment and personal factors. Those in background variables can affect the types of attributions learners make. An example of achievement related events occur when a student fails in an examination and the outcome was unexpected. Werner proposes that learners will conduct an attributional search to understand or interpret what happened. In such cases, the perceived cause of the event is important regardless of any objective explanation because whatever the learner perceives as being the cause of the event will affect his or her future motivation toward commitments with similar tasks. The locus dimension refers to whether the cause of the event is perceived as internal to the individual or external. If a learner believes she failed an exam because she lacks the ability in that area, she is choosing an internal cause because the ability is internal to the learner. In contrast, if a learner believes that she failed an exam because a teacher is incompetent, she chooses an external cause because the teacher's unskillfulness is external to the student. The stability dimension refers to whether the cause is stable or unstable across time and situations. If the learner believes she failed an exam because she lacks ability, then the, her cause is stable particularly if she believes her lack of ability is a permanent quality. However, if a learner believes she failed because of illness at the time of the exam, then the cause is unstable, in which the illness is a temporary factor. When a learner experiences success, attributions to stable causes lead to positive expectations for success in the future. In the face of failure, however, attributions to stable causes can result in low expectation for the future. The controllability dimension refers to whether the cause of the event is perceived as being under the control of the individual. For example, if a runner believes a race was lost because there was not enough practice before the event, the cause is controllable because the runner could have practiced more. However, if the runner feels the race was lost because of lack of ability, then the cause is uncontrollable. By definition, only internal attributions can be considered controllable. Bernard Werner's attribution theory provides a method to examine and understand motivation in academic settings. It examines the individual's beliefs about why certain events occur 
and relates those beliefs to subsequent motivation. The basic premise of the attribution theory is that people want to understand their environments and will therefore attempt to understand why certain events happen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful.